This is Mark with the Government Vault. We have a Fox News video today that also includes Senator Rand Paul. We're going to be talking about the origins of the COVID virus, as well as how it may have escaped from the lab, or did it really come from an animal source? Dr. Fauci says he doesn't really seem to know. So let's, let's get started. Please like and subscribe. I know it's former top government scientists saying that the Wuhan lab leak theory for the origins of COVID should not be discounted. So that is a big statement from someone from China. It's very dangerous for them to say those types of things. Saying, quote, you can always suspect anything. That's science. Don't rule out anything. Senator Rand Paul, top Republican Homeland Security Committee. Senator, nice to see you. Good morning and welcome back uh, to Thanks our program me. here. Uh, this gentleman's name is Dr. George Fu Gao. Uh, he also said this apparently in the same interview. I think their conclusion is that they're following all the protocols. They haven't found any wrongdoing. So what's it going to be? You know, this is the head of the CDC in China. He's well known in international circles and I think respected around the world as being a truth teller. I think from the very beginning he was kept in the dark and I think that now he's trying to shed some light on this. In their kind of system. That's an interesting thing. The head of the CDC in China kept in the dark. Tells you a lot about the Chinese culture and their government. It's very difficult and dangerous sometimes to tell the truth and just indicating or intimating that there that this could have come from the lab is a big deal coming from a government or an ex-government official so i've spoken with the chinese government directly and asked them to be more forthcoming not to blame them i've, I've really told them look we have these labs in our country i don't want this to happen in our country or anywhere in the world again and i've asked them to be more forthcoming i don't kind of makes you wonder how many of these types of labs there are throughout the world? Because there has to be some, you know, in the United States, as, as Rand Paul just said, but probably in Europe, Asia, Japan, China. Who knows? There's probably hundreds of these labs, all with potentially serious, serious viruses in them. I don't know if it'll have any more response from the Chinese government, but I think it would be good for the world if they were to come forward and say, look, this was an accident. It was a terrible accident. We're doing everything to prevent it happening again. And then in the United States, we should also do more to try to make sure that dangerous research yeah, doesn't you, leak in the yeah, United what, States. What you're yeah, but that'll never happen. China will never never admit that they did wrong. The thing is that you and we, everybody should understand it uh, for, the, for the future. But do you think this is as close as we get to a possible admission from the CCP? You know, I hope we end up getting more because, you know, I've spoken to former high-ranking mm -hmm. CDC officials in our country who have told me that they expect that there will be another leak and that the next leak could be as much as five to 50 percent of the world's population could die in another pandemic. Five to 50 percent. That's a pretty broad spectrum there. But just the thought of 50 percent of the world population dying, yeah, better start stocking up on a few things. So we're crazy not to put more rules and regulations on this type of research. I've been pushing this for three years, and to date I've not had a full committee hearing or get one Democrat to agree to a full committee hearing. I've been pushing Democrats to give me signed records releases from the Biden administration. So far I haven't gotten one letter signed in three years by a Democrat. Surprised? I'm not. So it's amazing the cover up, and you played a clip from Fauci earlier. Fauci was covering this up from day one because he knew if it came to the lab that ultimately culpability would attach to his decisions to fund that very lab. Uh, okay, I, I don't know the clip that you're talking about from earlier, but this is from June of 2022. Here's Fauci then. I said that I think the most likely origin is a jumping of species. I still do think it is at the same time as I'm keeping an open mind that it might be a lab leak. Okay. Keeping an open mind, but June of 2022, just a year ago, and he still thinks, or at least he's saying he thinks, that this came from another species. I don't know. It's getting to be a little bit unlikely. I mean, 11 months later, I, is that a fair statement? Keeping an open mind? Well, the mind? thing is, well, no, it's absolutely not. From day one, from January 31st of 2020, he was conspiring with fellow virologists to cover this up because he knew he had been one of the world's leading advocates of gain-of-function research for at least a decade. 
And let's not forget who was funding that. The United States was funding that lab. And, and if you watch some of the other videos I've done, Senator Kennedy will tell you we are still funding that lab in Wuhan, China. He's quoted as saying that gain of function research is so important that even if a pandemic breaks out, it'll be worth the knowledge. He'd been an advocate for a decade. He was an advocate and the chief architect of funding the lab in Wuhan. So he knew from the very beginning, if this leaked from the lab in Wuhan, that the guilt, the culpability for the pandemic would attach to his horrific decision to fund this lab. And so, no, he's been trying to cover it up from day one. It's only in the last six months or so he started saying this open mind thing. But no, he's been part of an elaborate cover up to make sure that no one ever knew the truth. Imagine if this was uh, someone with the last name of, say, I don't know, Trump. Do you think that this really would have gone on this long without any kind of reactions? Please let me know in the comments below. But we're going to get to the truth, I promise you. When do we hear from him next, Fauci? I think he'll be made to testify under oath by the House. If I had to predict within the next couple of months, they're gathering evidence. There won't be any chance because we don't have power in the Senate to bring him in. So he'll be brought in, okay. and I suspect for one very public uh, uh, interview under, under oath, and we'll see if we get a truth out of him. But be prepared. He was made to testify in a Missouri, Louisiana case, and he said, I don't recall, I think over 80 times. Sir, thank you for your time, and we'll see what comes of it on the House side. Well, there you have it. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see if we can produce more videos like this. Thanks for watching.